softly spoken with no strings tied. Okay, now we have been told to prove that sin square a minus sin square b plus sin square c equals to two sin a cos b sin c. Now we have sin square a minus sin square b plus sin square c. Now let us recall the formula according to our formula. 1 minus 2 sin square a equals to cos 2a. Now when you solve it further, we will get at minus 2 sin square a equals to, otherwise for our easy solving what we can do is, we can keep minus sin square a as it is, or we can do it in this way also, we can write 1 minus cos 2a equals to 2 sin square a. So finally we will get that 2 sin square a equals to 1 minus cos 2a by 2. So this is simply a derivation of the formula. Uh, cos only sine square a is 1 minus cos 2a by 2. So in place of sine square a, we are going to write here 1 minus cos 2a by 2. So sine square b will also be written as 1 minus cos 2b by 2. And then sine square c would be copied same. Now we'll take LCM of the first two term. So when you take LCM, we'll have here 1 minus cos 2a minus 1 plus cos 2b plus sin square c. So this is by taking an LCM. So plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled. I will write this strong as cos 2b minus cos 2a by 2 plus sin square c. Now the next step is to assume 2b as c and assume 2a as b and apply the formula of cos c minus cos d. We will suppose 2b to be c we will also suppose 2a to be b and then we will apply the formula of cos c minus cos d and by the formula by the use of the formula cos c minus cos d we will get this way the formula for cos c minus cos d is 2 sin c plus d by 2 dot sin d minus c by 2 ok we operate the formula of cos c minus cos d here. Okay. And the, in the denominator you have here 2. And then on the other uh, side you have here plus sin plus c as it is. Now you can cancel this 2 and 2. Now you have here sine. And when you solve the term 2a plus 2b by 2 by taking 2 common and cancelling numerator and denominator, you will have here sine a plus b left. And then you also have here sine a minus b left plus sin square c. Now we have obtained the value of sin a plus b here. The value for sin a plus b is sin c. So in place of sin a plus b, we have to write here sin c plus sin dot sin a minus b plus sin square c. Now you can take sin c common here from here sin c common, and what you have left here is sin a minus b plus sin c. So sin c copied same sin a minus b. Now the for the value of sin c is sin a plus b. So here you can write here plus sin a plus b. Okay. Now you can recall the formula sin a plus b plus sin a minus b is two sin a cos b. So in place of sin a plus b plus sin a minus b, you can write here two sin a cos b. Otherwise, and you can get our solution dot. You can write here two sin a cos b sin c. Otherwise, you also have the end the way to solve the problem from here. Suppose a minus b is c and suppose a plus b is b and the formula is formula will become sin c plus sin d and the formula is 2 sin c plus d by 2 dot cos c minus d by 2. Okay, now when you solve it, it will be like 2 sin c dot sin. You will have here minus b plus b cancel and a plus a is 2a, 2a by 2 is a dot. You will have here plus a minus a cancel and b minus b minus b is minus 2b minus 2b by 2 is minus b and cos minus b is cos b. So in this way also you can prove that uh, 2 sin a cos b sin c. Or uh, the next way, how can you do this is Okay, if you want the next way, then what you can do is you can write your sin c as it is. Now you can apply the formula of sin a minus b. The formula for sin a minus b is sin a into cos b minus cos a into sin b. Now you can also use the formula of sin a plus b. The formula is 
sin a into cos b plus cos a into sin b. Okay, we operate the formula of sin a minus b and we also operate the formula of sin a plus b. Now what we can do is we can cancel this minus cos a sin b and we can cancel this plus cos a sin b and then we'll have here sin c and sin a into cos b plus sin a into cos b is 2 sin a cos b and then we'll get our answer done. We can write here 2 sin a cos b sin c is our rj. So this is all. So thank you everyone.